Greetings and happy Halloween. It's not Halloween yet, but uh, I figured I would do a book review quick. Very random, no script, nothing like that. Just wanted to make this for my friend and fellow YouTuber in these goings down. Um, yeah, you know, he's also into Lovecraft, also into uh, reading obscure literature, and also uh, someone I've always really admired on his YouTube channel. And then he was thinking about buying this book, so I figured, hey man, do do a favor and give a, an in-depth look at the book. So what is it basically? The Decline of the West. Now that rings bells to anyone who who goes a little bit deeper into politics than just the tip. And just beyond the left and right uh, narrative. Um, yeah, so hey, we're discussing politics on, on uh, the channel, but it is... Lovecraft, you know, uh, it is related to the to the man himself. He did have political views, um, but this video is not discussing his political views in depth. This is about the book and if it's worth buying that type of thing. If there's demand to make a a video about his politics, I have the material to not just this book but other books as well regarding his views. Um, it's not just the the politics that is commonly talked about with regards to Lovecraft, like, oh, his dislike of uh, insert ethnic group here, you know, his politics is a lot more in depth than, you know, the surface level that you see always talked about today. So if I do that video, it will be very academic, you know, my way. So just like the contents, the book is basically, it's not, Lovecraft didn't write this book. As it were, it's a collection uh, by St. Joshi, uh, the editor. You know, you know Joshi. You know, everyone knows Joshi in the Lovecraft world. So he basically collected uh, various uh, letters of Lovecraft, who wrote in the thousands, thousands, and thousands of letters. You know, and they and they uh, and he put them all together. You know, uh, he put them all together and built up a, a comprehensive look at Lovecraft's political views, uh, ethics, aesthetics, metaphysics, uh, you know, politics in general. He's, he's Weltanschauen. Uh, I said that incorrectly, didn't I, for a few German viewers. Weltanschauen. Schauen. Ah, it's late. It's not my first language. But his worldview, basically, is looking at that. So... Uh, he takes everything he references. I must say, for Joshi, he is truly an academic at heart. So everything, uh, just for example here, everything is referenced very nicely. You know, so everything that Joshi says, he's not like pulling it out of his ass, like making up statements without backing them up. He's very academically minded. Look, everything is referenced nicely. You know. Of course, you have to look up each time the references. For example, SL, I think that's Sonia Lovecraft, even his wife at the time. So obviously, it's a letter to him, uh, to her. And, uh, it's very well put together like this, and it's as you'll see, the book is it's very easy to read. You know, uh, I mean, in the sense that everything's broken up very nicely with a book this size. Because I mean, how do I show it? It's my arm. It's a big book. You know, it's like A4. Uh, but everything's broken up. It's not just like walls and walls of texts and also with the big borders For people like me who like to uh, What did I what did I even run now nah, doubt it truth uh, Long shot, but maybe true maybe not Well, you know, I, I love to put Annotations I know some people say oh you ruined the book like that, but I'm an a Lovecraft Acolyte. I'm a student of Lovecraft, so I like to always improve my knowledge when I'm reading. Uh, so everything is basically Lovecraft's words, and you'll see like the, the ones which are more indented like this, right? And this is all Lovecraft's direct words, direct quotes. Um, and then Joshi, uh, well, okay, for example here, Joshi will, you'll see that the quote and Joshi will give some context, you know. Uh, for the most part, 
I would say that Joshi is very fair. You know, he's not too judgmental, but at times, uh, he, how should I say, he's very modern in his thinking. You know, he's, uh, okay, he's not my political worldview. Uh, you know, I don't maybe have the exact same politics as him. But every now and then he kind of slips and inserts his judgment on Lovecraft. I always feel that uh, if you have an old text, right? Uh, for example, okay, let me give you an example. Hold on. Okay, for example, here, Christopher Columbus, Four Voyages. I bring this up because I know in the United States, uh, there are, he's a hero to some and to others. He's a villain. Oh, see, it's these Indians and the commie fucks. They want to paint Columbus as a slave trader instead of an explorer. Fuck them. For what he, for his uh, discovery of America and uh, all that. And then why I'm bringing this up is because this book is written uh, by his son, Fernando, basically. And letters coming from the logbooks of... Columbus's voyage, right? So his captains um, put things in there. This is direct. What I'm saying is that these are the direct words coming from that time period, right? And it's without judgment, no judgment whatsoever. So even though Columbus is like a, a controversial figure over in the states, here in Europe, we don't give a shit, you know. And in this house, Christopher Columbus is a hero. End of story. He's seen as a hero, basically, and. My point of view, I mean, man, that took balls to do what he did, so respect for that. Um, but there's no judgment or anything like that. Occasionally, Joshi here puts in his two cents and it's like, ah, come on, I don't need to hear that. Then again, on the other hand, it's ST Joshi. I mean, the guy, the guy's earned his stripes, you know, when it comes to Lovecraft. He doesn't have to, uh, you know, he earns his right to say what he wants, you know, frankly. And it is his book, he put it together, you know, but uh, it's just something that comes up every now and then, but it's not enough to ruin the, the enjoyment of reading this book. Um, so, for who should buy this book, basically? Well, I would say, if you are a, a big fan of Lovecraft, beyond his literature, because although it does say here, the fiction, it's not really focusing too much on his fiction so you're not going to find like some like the political lens of the shadow of Innsmouth or Dagon or whatever it's not like that really so if you're just into Lovecraft for the mythos yeah skip it if you are into Lovecraft for uh, the man himself you know his worldview and uh, that type of thing then definitely get it if you're like a Lovecraft academic and also if you Perhaps if you aren't really into Lovecraft, well, why are you on this channel? You probably wouldn't even see this video. Uh, but if you are, how should I say it? If you are interested into in politics, right? And you are into politics that goes beyond this ridiculous concept of just the left and the right. You know, that's it. Left or right. Oh, you're the left. Oh, the right is bad. You're the right. Oh, the left is bad. If you want to see some different world views which are not really expressed you know, uh, in modern day discourse and probably wouldn't be allowed to be discussed in modern day discourse you know, because you'll be labeled certain things which you can't even really say on YouTube because then you get demonetized or shadow banned or whatever. Then this book is also for you. And if you are a fan of Oswald Spengler his literature. I mean, well, it's the reason why this book is titled what it is. All right, just wanted to make this very quick video. Um, yeah, Halloween's almost finished. I've got my little guy here, my jack o' lantern. Isn't he cute? Uh, Halloween's almost finished. I'm looking forward actually to get back to Lovecraft content because uh, behind the scenes I've been doing a lot of work. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to make this video. Sometimes I feel like a little bit trapped sometimes, you know, with uh, this channel, you know, just doing video essays and not being able to vlog too much, I guess it were. 
and I enjoy doing it. You know, I don't get enough practice, but I always feel like if I do videos like this, I let down the people who are used to my um, video essay style. So, but hey, man, you know, life's too short to always worry about things. I try to do that less and less, but hey. Anyway, that's my review of the climb of the West, uh, especially for in these goings down. Hey, man, get this book. I know you well. Uh, I know you'll like this. I know you'll appreciate it. I'll leave a link in the in this video's description where you can pick it up. Uh, it's not an affiliate link. I don't get any profit if you buy it or not. So uh, this goes to everyone. You know, I just put an Amazon link since that seems to be what everyone is uh, using. I think it's also an Arctus Press. Uh, if you know about Arctus Press, then you'll like this book too. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Soon, soon, soon. <laughs>